Good morning, welcome back to another video. It's Monday, it's the 12th. Is it the 12th? I can't remember. Yes, it's the 12th. Um, and it's very snowy out there. It's very white, it's very slippery, and it's very cold. <laughs> um, Ian has managed to go to work very, very, very late. Um, he's only just gone, to be honest, and it is uh, quarter past ten. Um, he was just snowed in, and it was a little bit ridiculous. So, our lovely neighbour, John, you might have heard me mention his name before, he went out at half past four this morning and cleared the cars in the car park. And... Wow, just, you couldn't ask for a better neighbour. He said he was just up and he thought he'd go out and clear the cars and make sure that you could just get in them easy and, like, whatever. And Ian's van was parked out in the street, so we didn't think anything of it. And Ian's gone out there and John's cleared the van as well. So, uh, yeah. Just want to say thank you. I know you don't watch my videos, but I have said thank you this morning, I've seen you, but... It is just wonderful to have such wonderful neighbours that care and think about other people. It's nice. Um, but the road was so slippery, Ian couldn't get no traction. Um, he was sliding everywhere. Um, there was cars abandoned everywhere. Um, yeah, bit bit silly, really. Um, so it's just... Yeah, one of them. <laughs> um, what did I want to do today? I did want to go B&Q today, but that ain't happening. I think Ian wanted to go to the unit today. I really don't think that's going to happen. <clears throat> um, unless it clears, but I don't think it's going to clear today. Um, I don't think... Well, it's going to get to one degree, but that's still freezing, isn't it? <laughs> um, so, But it was so nice to get up with the decorations... Um, and the tree up today uh, so I am glad that I've done it finally um, it's just it was the the getting the motivation to do it and putting them up and then all that um, I don't think I would have done it on my own so Ian helped get the boxes down and everything and I put the tree up and I did all the bits and pieces, which is fine. But then he helped me put all the boxes back in the loft. So I think if I was on my own, I was I would just be, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, so having the help did help. Um, I do want to get um, some different coloured tinsel for the picture frames and that. Because the tree has now uh, got white and silver baubles on it. Um, I do want to try and get silver maybe I think this is like a five meter length it's like a total length that I bought and it was it's perfect for our mirror um so it always goes there and these little ones are normally on the tree but obviously I haven't got tints on the tree this time so this chair's going down on me again um I think it's getting worse never mind um I did one section two sections on my sock yesterday so I'm still behind um, I want to do my nails today, I think, so I might just um, edit the video, <coughs> yesterday's vlog, um, which I haven't done yet, and do my nails, uh, because they are really, really long, and I'm finding it harder and harder to do stuff with them. Um, I know they're not really that long, but for me, sort of, yeah, they are long, <laughs> so I'm going to probably do those today, and uh, paint them a nice wintry colour. Um, I might not do Christmas, I might just do like, I don't know. I haven't decided. I have taken a picture on my phone from Pinterest, but I haven't decided. So, that's that. I'm going to start editing yesterday's vlog and see what today brings. Hopefully, no more snow. So, I was just outside, um, not out outside, in the hallway, because that's where I like to file my nails, <laughs> so the dust don't go in here and I can just hoover it up. Um, so, I have filed my nails and I have um, like taken the colour off and I've made them a lot shorter. But while I was sat there, I've got the most wonderful gift 
ever. Um, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, I don't know if you want me to say your name or not, but I'm going to message you um, and ask. Um, oh my goodness. So I have got two beautiful skeins of yarn, um, which is easyknits.co.uk, knit with colour. Oh my goodness, look at these. They are lovely. Um, this one is called Nebula and this one is called Firework 7525. Um, they are absolutely stunning. And then in the package, there was no note. So um, I think I know who it's from. Uh, but there was all of these, which are sock patterns. Sorry about the light. I know it's lights behind me and I've got you on the big tripod <laughs> um, but there was all these sock patterns in here um, that has been put in these little sleeves um, oh my goodness and this is what is this a different heel flap chart um, and also in here is the young girls guide to beyond the basics um, this book promises to inspire both brand new and experienced knitters and I've just flicked through and some of the patterns in here are lovely. It's so nice. I think it just um, sort of explains to you how to do different necks and oh look at that um, and stuff and the, and the patterns in here um, ponchos scarves um, blankets and stuff there's all different stuff in here thank you so much um it's such a surprise and oh my goodness yarn thank you I just I get so overwhelmed when I get a gift because I don't expect anything um, and then when I do get something it's so lovely the light is proper gone now isn't it oh that might be better um, yeah, I don't expect anything, um, and when I do get something, it means the world to me. And it means the world to me that you want to watch my videos and <laughs> watch me ramble on and stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you. I, I'm so appreciative of everything. Um, anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to get my nail stuff out. That's what I'm going to do today. So somebody did ask in the comments if I could show how I do my nails. Um, I'm no professional. I have been trained to do acrylic nails, um, but that was a very long time ago. And I just do them my way, the way that works for me. Um, I do use professional products and stuff. Um, so I will show you what I use and, and the process that I go through, but... Um, Probably showing you might be a little bit difficult, but I just will have the camera just filming what I'm doing. Um, and then I'll speed up the bits that are not really that interesting and stuff. So that's why I've got the big tripod out. I'm going to get that all set up now. Hopefully it won't take me that long, because then I can just get them done, painted. Then I can get knitting, because I haven't knit much in the last few days. And I really want to get knitting again. <laughs> um, so... And I want to knit, I want to finish the chart on my Whitmore so I can just go round and round the body and the sleeves for the, um, the rest of it. Uh, I'll probably do the sleeves first, I'm thinking, or a little bit of the body and then pick up for the sleeves so I know how much yarn I've got for the body. I have got five balls of this yarn. So five balls should be fine because normally when I do a colour work or when I have done colour work in the past, I have only four balls because I've used Aldi yarn, but then obviously a ball for the colour work. So, and that don't take up a whole ball. So I'm thinking five balls will be plenty. Um, and I'm thinking of doing tapered sleeves. I don't know. I haven't decided on that yet, but that's what I think I'm going to do. Because I don't, I don't think I want bishop sleeves. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Would bishop sleeves be better on a jumper than a cardigan? That's what I'm thinking. Because this has got like tightish sleeves. I put this on because I was chilly. Um, yeah, this has got tight sleeves. Um, so 
bishop sleeves on a jumper might be a bit better if you don't know what bishop sleeves are they're like bell sleeves all the way down and then really really tight to the the wrist I don't know anyway let's get all this done so before I start um, I have taken um, I've filed my natural nails down as well um, that stops lifting and stuff um, because I just hate that so and I don't like seeing the nails underneath that's just my preference obviously you do you um, but the products that I use are Nao Nails I haven't got a lot left <laughs> um, I did say to Ian I'll just order some so I use Nao Nails this is the um, Monoma and you need powder to go with that which again I use um, is this a new one yes which I use Nao Nails um, the reason I use Nao Nails is because I find it's a system that works so when I did start using um, acrylic systems I used edge and that is what I trained with um, but I just found that it wasn't brilliant and the I used to get a lot of lifting and stuff um, Nao Nails are on YouTube when I was watching them and I started watching them uh, Kirsty Meekin was their presenter and she is brilliant she's absolutely amazing at what she does they have changed their presenters a little bit in the last year or so um, I'm not as keen but I still do watch every now and again uh, Kirsten Meekin has her own YouTube channel now and she uh, promotes a lot of different uh, systems uh, so a, a, a brand is called a system because you don't mix and match so I wouldn't use like a Nao Nao um, Monoma and an edge powder and stuff um, try and keep your system all the same as you can see I don't have a lot of this liquid left so I'm gonna have to order some of that I do have a new powder um, so that's okay but I might just how much of this one is there um, I'll probably get one more out of that one uh, so I'll do my nails as you can see like there's not a great amount of that left um, and then again I have got um, like blush and I have got white powder that I don't really use that often um, I just I just don't uh, I use a Nail your nails hydrator nail hydrator um, you use that before you use any other product so I will use that and then I will use the Nao Nails Ultra Bond um, primer it's an acid primer I did used to use a non acid primer um, I don't really know the difference obviously one's got acid one hasn't um, but since watching the YouTube channel and stuff um, I find that now I'm using an acid primer I don't get much lifting at all um, so yeah that's that's what I use as well um, other than that uh, the tips that I use are edge to be honest because I just find they work um, and they come in little boxes like this you can buy them singly um, like this as well so if you run out of a certain size you can just buy a whole box of a certain size normally it's my um, pointer finger my index 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 ring finger index finger these two here I find that I run out first um, and that's because obviously I'm using four of those to do a set and the other ones not as much <laughs> so that's that that I use um, just normal files I get them from capital or um, I have purchased from Nail Nails before the, the buff buffers and that um, I do use a um, electric nail file not for everything normally that is for taking my natural nails down at the bottom at the base um, and to go around my cuticles with a little round bit is that focusing mm. 
it's just a little um, round ball and that just gets rid of any dead skin around your cuticles um, and the brush that I use is an edge brush um, I buy these off of eBay um, I've used edge brushes the whole time and I've not had a problem uh, I just make sure that I clean it after every use and then I burp the brush which means you have to when you start you have to put the whole brush in the liquid and you have to get all of the liquid uh, all of the air out so that's calling burping the brush <laughs> um, anyway I'm gonna get started um, I need to push back my cuticles and stuff so that's what I'm gonna do now and I will film it but it will just be a look down um, at what I'm doing really more than a tutorial because I'm probably no good at that so I'm gonna get started I'm watching youtubers as well at the same time watching my dad's video so if you don't know my dad has a YouTube channel he um, has got an e-bike and he explores Mercia and beyond <laughs> the link is down below for his channel he cycles around um, on his e-bike and films it so go check him out if he was here he would say go subscribe to my channel <laughs> uh, so yeah please go and give my dad some love on his channel that would, I would be very very grateful for that right let's stop rambling
Okay, so I only filmed one because obviously doing the other hand is not as easy. Um, so I just need to wait for them to dry a little bit more. This hand's probably fine. Um, I'm just going to go over them with the file. Now, I don't... Very occasionally, I have to file quite a lot. <laughs> um, but this time, I think I've done pretty well. So... Um, they're not too bumpy and lumpy and stuff. Um, it probably helps that they were quite long anyway. Um, and I always find that when I do my nails, I find it hard to do them straight from just tips. Um, once I've done a set and then I do them the next time, I always find that they look a lot better. So I can get the shape in and yeah, I'm just not brilliant at doing them first off on myself. One hand is fine, it's the other hand, it's all lumpy bumpy and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, normally what, you, what I do is just check with the base of the brush. So if it makes that noise, you know that it's done. Mm, that's not too bad. Can you, it's not as loud. So the tip has hardly got any new acrylic on it. So that the, they're hard. They're hard now. Um, but this hand is still a little bit soft. So just wait for it to go hard. Um, I have got a buffer and I've got an nail file that I will just quickly shape and f do bits with. Um, and then, yeah, so that's that. I'm going to carry on and hopefully they'll be done soon. So my nails are done, it's, it's a bit later because me and Ian did pop out. We went to B&Q to get a heater, they didn't have any. So we went to Wilco and they did have some, so I'll pick one up. Um, and my nails, uh, so I've gone for a little bauble and just a um, star, a snowflake, not star flake, a snowflake. So they are both the same and just sparkly on that. Um, so yeah, that's that. The heater that we got Ooh. is this one. It's just the same one that we got. We're hoping that, um, I'm hoping that it's going to um, work with more bars on because the one we've got does work with two bars for about, what, five minutes? If that. Um, so let's see if this one works. Um, went pop to Tesco as well to get some dinner and then on the way home I realised that I got everything else but dinner. <laughs> Ian said should we get takeaway or shall we um should we get something I was like we'll just get something in Tesco because the road's really bad. Um Ian got the van not stuck but the van was slipping in the car park. We've had to get a neighbour to move his car. Um but yeah so because the car park is just so slippery it's on a hill as well um so we went to tesco in my car and that was fine the main roads are fine it's just this little side road that we've got well the road that we're in this which is a side road then the car park um is a bit slippery um so but we're having chicken burgers in buns with chips and onion rings for dinner tonight i forgot the Bun. I forgot the burgers. I had to go back. <laughs> no chips. No, we've got chips, but I just thought I might as well pick up chips because um, we've only got enough for tonight. And I like to have chips in the freezer because sometimes, like last night, we just put stuff together and like, do you want chips with it? <laughs> so um, it's nice to have chips in the freezer. So anyway, I'm going to open this up. I oh, need to put it together and. Uh, See if it works. It's 25 past 11 nearly and I am so tired tonight. I don't know. It's, is it warm in here? Yeah. Um, yeah it's quite warm. I feel cold. I've got this on. <laughs> I live in this at the moment <laughs> um, and I think it's making me tired. Um, we've had the heater on and it has been working on two bars so I think there's a problem with the one that we have originally. Um, so, yeah. It's out in the hallway at the moment, the original one, because I plugged it straight into the wall thinking it might be the extension lead, but it's not. So, um, yeah. That's that anyway. 
Um, but we we had dinner and I haven't done no knitting or anything. I've been on my phone for a little while, um, playing on a playing a game on my phone and yeah, just I don't know, just not can't be bothered to knit tonight. It's one of those. Um so I thought I'd just come on and end the vlog. I have got the tripod up and it's probably a bit better so I might keep it up. I might fold the legs away and stand it somewhere. But um yeah, I think it might be a bit better. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, depending on how the weather is tomorrow, um, I might go to the um, unit with Ian. And then, I don't really know after that. <laughs> um, but Ian is on strike for three days this week. Um, if you didn't know, he works for Network Rail and they're striking. So... Tuesday. Not about pay before anyone says. Yeah, it's not about pay, it's about working conditions um, and stuff like that. It's not just... Changes in terms of conditions. Yeah, things. it's not just about pay, it's other things as well that the media are not advertising as much. Um, like, they want to change rosters and like put things in place that are not really good for the workers and, and all that. So, um, yeah, they're striking for three days this week. Um, so it's tomorrow, Wednesday, on Friday. Um, Friday I don't think we'll be doing anything because the... Oh, Saturday. Oh, and Saturday, but Ian doesn't work weekends, um, unless he does overtime, so, um, that doesn't affect him as such. Uh, it's just normally Monday to Fridays that, af that affects him going in and whatever. <laughs> um, but Friday the... Washing machine and the cooker's coming. Did I explain that I bought that? Yes. I did, didn't I? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of me doing my nails today. Um, I don't know how I'm going to edit it together. or I'm not sure. I'll obviously, obviously figure that out in the morning um, when I am editing the video. And I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.